Okay, Ocado grocery haul. I'm gonna add Costco on the end of this. I did Costco first and this was kind of my little end weeky weekend pop-up shop. Don't really need a massive amount. But um, I've got carrots, just a standard, and kale, and cardo, fine green beans. These are really nice, actually. Two lots of the fruits, because the kids just have been have been taking these to school. The Miles has them as well. So that's the mixed box, the strawberry, berry, and peach, and then they just the strawberry ones. I got some feta, um, which is kind of already cubed for convenience. I got these again, which, again, they're still on offer. These are so delicious. They're only small, but they're really, really kind of rich and moorish and as a nice treat after dinner is just, they're really good. Um, I've got some single cream for a meal and then I also got some peppers, some treats for a meal, pasta meal. Two lots of the Petit Falous. Miles seems to be loving these at the moment. So. Yeah. A peach. And he likes looking at the little... My like animals. You like peach? You already had one though, haven't you, this morning? And then I got two of my lemon cheesecake and then the blueberry and vanilla. Still on offer. And then I got the boys. We've already got some stuff in the fridge already, but I did get them these as well. I got two lots of the fair trade bananas because we go through bananas so much. Two of the whole milks. Um, we go through milk quite quick. Two of mozzarella. One for. Um, one for pizza and then one for gnocchi. I'm going to do gnocchi bolognese again this week. I've already got the sauces and everything. Um, I got two of the... Actually, I wasn't supposed to have two. I need to check my order whether I accidentally ordered that or they have doubled it up by accident. But um, I got the two chicks egg whites. I only wanted one of those because the thing is, once they're open, you have to use them within like, I think, five or seven days. But they've got the 19th one, so we might be right. Um... Edam sliced cheese. I've already got ham from Costco. Wow. Some golden delicious apples. Again, I put them in my order like at 5 p.m. last night and they were in stock. They weren't in stock at like 4 p.m. It's crazy. Um, I got some honey shreddies. These were on offer. I didn't realize how small the box was to be honest, but I thought the kids would like those. I had a sub actually. I got Graham his protein Weetabix, but that was a sub for the chocolate chip version. Graham doesn't like the chop chip, chocolate chip version, so I've had to kind of sub them back and just get them back, fit them back. Um, and then I got the hippies salt and vinegar. I love like salt and vinegar. I've actually been having the um, snacker jacks, little um, small bags of those in salt and vinegar, which I've been loving. But I love the obviously the smoky ones that they do. So I thought I would try these ones, see how they are five packs i've got some frazzles boys like those and then i got some chocolate chips dark chocolate chips for some baking and then i bought some like i've got a variety of bit of like different flowers so i got some chickpea flour and then some self-raising flour but i really wanted to try this this was down to i mean it was quite expensive it was one pound 60 i think but it was quite expensive for the size it is but i really wanted just to try it um and then i got the super soft white loaf. So, um, mainly the reason why I got quite a lot of crisps, at least it feels like, because um, I couldn't find any in Costco. I don't know why. They only did the big giant sharing bags. Usually they have the boxes of the little packets, but I couldn't find any. Anyway, I got the mini cheddars, the different selection. Miles will like those, and then I got the baked as well. Chocolate chip brioche rolls, some water and thins. I have so I feel like I've got loads of bagels backed up and wrapped in the freezer. So I didn't want to get too much. So I just got these. Um, I got these for Miles. Again, we didn't necessarily need any particular snacks. But again, these are on offer. And the strawberry, we haven't. he hasn't tried. He usually has the purple one. These are so nice. I actually really like them myself. Um, like if he doesn't finish it, I'll finish it. But yeah, they're on offer. And these ones are not usually in stock, this flavour. And then, lastly, I got the extremely chocolatey M&S hot cross buns. We tried the salted caramel. They are not for Graham. And to be fair, they were not my favourite. These are delicious. I also have tried the double chocolate ones from Aldi. And they were bone dry. Like, literally bone dry. These are, like, sticky, 
soft you can you don't even have to do anything with them you can just eat them like that they are so good packed full of chocolate yeah these will not last five minutes and we will hide them but yeah that is my Ocado bit of a random delivery really but it's just a little bit of a stock up just for the rest of the week it should last me for the week okay so moving on this ready. is a voiceover for my Costco haul purely because I had the builders outside I had someone in the bathroom sorting out some sort of plumbing stuff we've got going on in the family bathroom so I couldn't really like speak to the camera it would be a bit awkward but anyway you can see I've got a massive pack of toilet roll. I've got two lots of the Pepsi Max. They've gone up another pound. They're now £7.49 for 24 cans. Um, still a better deal than buying them from the supermarket. But yeah, they are going up every time I go in. Um, I got this organic marinara, which is basically like a pasta sauce. I bought it yonks ago and I just want to try it again. Uh, and then I got some of the UFIT protein milkshakes, which I love. And then I thought I would try the Itsu broth. We've uh, I've made chicken ramen recently and um, I've just heard really good things about the broth. It's really good. You can just have it on its own or make it into like a, you know, an actual um, soup. As you saw, I did get some of the Mama Barista oat milk, which is probably my favourite, I think. And it's really, really cheap. And then here I'm showing you 40 individual packs. Of Maltesers. Me and Graham's favourite thing at the moment are Maltesers and I just thought this was £16 for 40 individual bags and I just thought one pack an evening as a tree is so much better than buying a box and sharing it realistically. I got two lots of the mango because we love the mango and then I thought I would get the Nutella bars for the kids to try. They've not had them before. They were really cheap for 15 bars and then I do really really love the grenade um like white chocolate cookie bars so i got those as well i've been eyeing them up for ages and they are such a good deal i picked up the yogurts for the boys and then the honey roasted sliced ham looks like that it's so delicious honestly it's really thick um it's really tasty for those two packs it was like under five pounds and then I decided to get this book I've been eyeing it up on Amazon it's in my Amazon basket and I really wanted to get it so it's again cheaper to get it from Costco so um yeah I... and then this was a bit of a request from Violet she wanted to try these like fruit snacks I've seen them in there so many times 80 bags I think it was 12 pounds and they're tiny little bags they are allowed to take them to school um and they really like them actually and then moving on to some frozen bits. So I got the organic fried cauliflower stir fry rice. Um, so it's got loads of veggies in it. It's basically cauliflower. And they're all individually wrapped. I think there's 12 individual packets in there for 340 grams. Um, I just thought it would be super convenient. Looked really tasty. I'm really excited to try it, to be perfectly honest. Um, and again, it, I think it was about £5.50, so really good value. I got some more of the squid rings because we go through these a lot and Graham loves them. I got some tender stem broccoli. It's like my favourite thing ever. Uh, the cauliflower hash browns. I haven't tried these actually, but they do do them on a cardo. But again, it's so much better value for that massive bag. And then I thought I would get the chicken tenders. Again, these are great just for a quick meal or a side, um, you know, during the week. So I've got those. Again, a massive bag for under £10. Um, Violet was actually at sleepover this particular evening. So I got two margarita pizzas for us for dinner. Uh, again, they were really good value. And then I got two packs of the Little Moons. They are £5.49 for the twin pack. Again, really good value, and I'm obsessed with the Little Moons, to be perfectly honest. They're mockies. They are delicious. Um, I've got a rotisserie chicken because I always get one of those. And then I had to pick up the avocados that are frozen. Again, really good value for money, and they're literally going to be amazing for like throwing into smoothies and all sorts. So I had to get those. I haven't seen them in there before, so I'm excited to try them. Um, and then lastly, I got some of these seaweed rolls. Again, I've never tried them before. 55 rolls, crispy, crunch. Um, they look delicious, packed for the vegetables. I think the kids are actually going to really like these. There's a bazillion ways you can cook them in air fryers, ovens, deep fat fryer. 
um but yeah i am again really looking forward to trying okay, those too to show you the fridge please excuse the washing machine it's sunday so i've got the school stuff to get sorted but anyway um yeah cheeses are up here i've got my mango i'd be already demolished one packet from costco but um i've got some homemade hummus in there um, I want to do a little bit more of like veggie prep because I find that's just really handy to have like when I'm just in need of snacks it can it's just so much quicker than just reaching something that's in a package because uh, that's what I've yeah I just found it so much better this is the ham from Costco we've already opened this one yesterday but it's yeah it's going to last well it's got a good good shelf life obviously um, and this one obviously isn't open so it's going to be great to have sandwich lunches for next week boys you'll get my yogurts and then we've got the kids ones, masks at the back, cheeses, I actually bought cheeses, quite a lot of different ones actually, a good mixture and I've just been putting them out here and there, you know, Alex does sometimes takes them to school and then Miles will have one at home or whatever, um, but yeah, the veggie bits, I've just put a selection from Costco, but yeah, a lot of mixed stuff in there got my favourite, it's Mothering Sunday today, I wanted to buy a bottle of that. And then on this side it's just a bit of a hodgepodge mixture of a few things, got the broth, broth in there which I got from Costco, drinks, um, our rotisserie chicken, we're going to finish that off today for lunch, and some fresh spits which are from farmer's market, and then this is all the extra vegetables overflow, I've just put these ones in fresh, There's mushrooms in there, mushrooms, onions, more carrots, and um, the standard condiments and stuff that I've been making my hummus with. So yeah, that's how it looks anyway. And that is my grocery haul. I hope you enjoyed it and thanks so much as always for watching.